Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and if you love tech and if you love discounts, this is the place for you and today is another tutorial, another video related with the 9bot Z10. So the other day I was just passing and scrolling on Facebook groups and I saw a video of someone washing the Z10 and passing water everywhere. That was terrible and I needed to say something and show to you guys how you should wash your Z10 if you really want and if you really need. Spoiler alert, I don't recommend you to do it, but if you have to do it, take these steps. By the way, the sound quality is not the best because unfortunately the microphone that is on top of me, it was not working. So I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that this video can be helpful for you if you need to do this. On the top part, you are going to find the part, the electronic part of your wheel. On the sides you will have your batteries. That the good thing about the 9 bot Z10 is that the batteries they are inside another enclosure. So that's why this, this wheel is one of the best wheels to use in the water. If, you, if it makes sense, obviously don't put it under water. But if you are using in rainy days, is the wheel that I trust the most. But one of the things that you have to understand about the 9 bot Z10 is that a majority of the electronics is on the top of the wheel and one of the weakest points that you have with this wheel is next to your turn on and turn off so if you never have done that to your wheel I recommend you to put some tapes like I'm showing to you guys because what happened is it happens to me two times I didn't have anything there and after I arrived at home and I tried to stop my wheel and it was not stopping and it was doing like a noise like I definitely recommend you to do that. Another thing is, you see here on the middle section, you have the plastics that they get together. I recommend to put some tape there to avoid that the water goes in there. But when you are washing the wheel, you never put anything, any water coming from the sides or from the tops, because obviously here on the side is where you have the openings where you can access to your battery. So it doesn't make any sense that you send some water there. I never done this to my Z10. I'm going to do this as a teaching process. So the first thing that I recommend you to do is basically putting the wheel in this position. And what we are going to do is we are going to send some water in this area. This can take you a while to do it because obviously in this case, I don't wash my wheel for ages. So like you can see, I have already washed a bit the wheel and obviously it's coming out some dust and slowly the wheel is getting all cleaned. Majority of the sides, the top, there is no water there. And yeah, like you can see now, the wheel is totally clean. I washed everywhere. Obviously now I have to dry a bit. And here you have guys, I have washed everything. I'm quite happy with the end results that you can see here. Like I said, be careful, no water here, the water in this area, you can see I put some tapes there to avoid that the water goes through this line. But the end result I think is quite good. And yeah guys, we have finished, everything is alright with the wheel, nothing wrong. It seems that it's spinning slightly better than before, because obviously I never washed, so this is the first time that I washed the wheel after 3000 kilometers. Maybe not also the best thing to do, but it's just to make you aware. The wheel is working properly, no problem at all.